ningependa pia kuwashukuru ninyi kama viongozi wa Kisi, Nyamira na Kuria kwa e, ushirika wenu na kukubali tufanye kazi pamoja na kushirikiana hakuna mtu anachaguliwa kwa bahati mbaya kila mmoja wetu anachaguliwa kwa mapenzi ya Mungu na vile tumechaguliwa sote na ni mapenzi ya Mungu sasa iliyobaki ni sisi kushirikiana ndio tutekeleze mapenzi ya Mungu kwa uongozi wenu na kwa uongozi wetu sisi wote so that we can achieve uh, what is important to us as a country we all made commitments uh, to the people of Kenya and we have the opportunity now to um, deliver on the commitments we made to the people of Kenya and we are better off delivering together because it's a lot easier when we are working in concert we are working uh, together to deliver on our commitments and to change our country we have a country called Kenya our motherland and all of us as leaders we have the singular privilege to provide leadership that will change our country for the better corruption is a whole industry and i must tell the people of kenya as i tell fellow leaders we cannot continue to lose public resources because of a few people who misappropriate who steal and through corruption deny the people of kenya the use of their public resources in the right manner that is not going to continue whoever wants to say whatever they want to say the corruption enterprise in kenya must come to an end i know for a fact that corruption and the corrupt and the people who steal have a whole ecosystem and a whole enterprise from those who are corrupt themselves the officers that they uh, collaborate with in government whether it is county or national government there are officers who are facilitating corruption there are people in our judicial system who are facilitating corruption by working with the corrupt that is why certain cases go to certain judges because they are part of the corruption enterprise and the corruption industry in Kenya and i want to tell you all these collaborators we will deal with them family and decisively we have notice to those in government those in the, the engineers of uh, corruption in the private sector who uh, bribe government officials at the county at the national to facilitate corruption and those who have made it a habit to go and hide in court with court orders with the stay orders and all the things that go around in court we are going to make sure that the judicial officers who facilitate corruption in Kenya must also live those who have a problem with that what wambie what we need to do with the people who are stealing the future of our children who are sabotaging our development because resources meant to build roads to put medicine in our hospitals end up in private in private hands we have huge programs supported for example by development partners but there are officers in government who have made those projects their private enterprises that even an officer when he moves from one place to another he moves with a government project as if it is their own property those things we will stop them and we will not ask for anybody's permission and we will not look for anybody's approval we will just do the right thing you come to melewa na my friends and it is as simple as that it is as simple as that hakuna kupembelezana and we are not threatening anybody that is the truth we are going to do it so it's not a threat it is a reality it's time for us to reflect it's time for us to meditate is it what have we done with our people because 
the whole issue of leadership is about service to our people and touching people's lives. What have you done as an MCA? What have you done as a member of parliament? Because your excellency, your government has made it sure that you disperse the funds in good time. And one thing that I will uh, on your behalf, your excellency, request my brothers here, the members of parliament, and all those who have been given positions, kindly look at Article 10 of our Kenya Constitution, national values and the principles of governance, which talks about good governance, transparency, integrity, accountability, and national unity. Because today we are here for national unity because it has to start somewhere. And Your Excellency, this is a paradigm shift for us as a community of Abagusi, Abakuria, because as the psalmist says in 133, how good and present it is for brothers to work and come together and dwell together in unity. And we assure you that moving forward, as Abagusi community, the couriers, uh, each and every time, like the last time you sent me there, I will be going there many more times. We have agreed what we will be able to do moving forward, and uh, we hope that our people will be served better. Kwanza Sante kwa kufungua aggregation center, the industrial park. The first, the first one in Kenya. Uh, tutaweka bidi yetu. Asante sana. Asante. Kwa hii aggregation tulikuwamba utuweke power station. Because hata saa hii, ya mira tuko na shida. Hakuna moto. Asante. Wajumbe na leaders wa Nyamira wanasema wanataka SGR kwa extended to Nyamira. The original design of course it was coming to Nyamira but kuna rumors, rumors, rumors kuja kuenda lakini tunaomba <laughs> waangalie hiyo. And since we are a gradual county we need your technical support in terms of livestock and agriculture. Uh, we need also to establish a training center to assist us achieve our manifesto on agriculture. These people as a community have made a decision. They want you to support them. They will support, support you unconditionally. This team you see here, Your Excellency, are very young people. Many of them have bright futures in politics. I would want to hope that this team, as these things are going on and as our politics is going on, we behave ourselves and make sure that we ask the presidency and the government to deliver for us in Kisi. Because Kisi has a very, very passionate attachment to your presidency. And I think, and uh, Your Excellency, I usually don't uh, say many things out of the lane. I think the people of Kisi are ready to receive you, they are ready to work for you, and they are ready to make sure that your presidency is a success. Mwashimwa Rais, mimi nishukuru kwanza ulitupatia mbolea. Mbolea nyingi tu, sasa hivi tunavo zungumza, wakudia tumevuna sana. Na tunavuna na hapo hapo kulima, ili tupande tena. Sasa hivi maindi kwa mashamba mengi imefika kiwango hii iki sasa. Tena ukazidisha zaidi, ukatupatia tena mbolea, sasa ambaye meteremuka bei, e, shilingi alfu mbili miatano. Na asanti kwa kufungua kwa mba wakulima zaidi wajisajili. Tunashukuru sana. Kwa sababu tunamini kwa mba hiyo, itatusaidia tuende hata zaidi. E, ujumbe ambao wametupatia wakuria ni kwamba wakati unaangalia mbolea, pia angalia mbegu. Iwe nzuri nzuri, bei chini, alafu tutakuwa tumeenda mbele. Sisi tumekuwa upande wa serikali. Lakini tumebaki tukiteseka sana siku nyingi. Na wakati tumekuwa pamoja na wewe ukiwa naibu rais, ulitembelea kuria sana na tunashukuru. Na mpaka saa hii unaona mkuria yako na wewe na tunaamini siku zote tutakuwa na wewe na wewe ndio utatoa mahali tulibaki 
tukiwa kama uh, ile family ndogo kwa hivyo rais mimi nataka nikushukuru ni kwa sababu umekuja kuria mara nyingi na umetupa maendeleo huko na hata juzi hii mwaka wakati umetutembelea kule kuna miradi ulikuja ukatupa